Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jordan from JWJ Capital. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial video on how to use Active Trader through the Thinkorswim platform. Now I wanted to go over this because it's a very cool feature that Thinkorswim offers and a lot of people don't know about it. It just makes orders very efficient, very easy and quick and it is something that I think a lot of you will find great value in and will be able to understand how to apply it to your own trading and how to add in this feature to your charts. So before I start the video, I did want to go over our Instagram and our website. So here on our Instagram, we're starting to grow a lot, and I just wanted to show you guys the type of content that we post. So we do a lot of chart breakdowns, technical analysis, motivation, and things related to our Discord. So here you guys can see, you know, for example, our swing trades or day trades, alerted levels that we called out, and then just feedback from our members. So we're starting to get bigger now, and I just wanted to highlight that and show you guys our Instagram. And then the second thing was our website. So a lot of people have been asking us about certain promotions or any giveaways that are coming up. So the one that we have going on right now is our 25% off your first month. And this offers this offer ends on May 1st. So a lot of people have been taking advantage of this. And it is something that a lot of our members have enjoyed and have been hopping on. So with that being said, guys, let's just jump straight into the video. I'm literally going to go all the way back to where it's just one chart like this and show you guys how to add in the feature from the very beginning. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to this top right corner here to this box and select it. So what this is, it's kind of just like a template of how many charts you know you want up on your screen. So for example, if I press this one, it's going to be six. If I press you know this, it's going to be four. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to select two because I want the active trader feature here on the right next to whatever chart I'm trading. So on the left, we have a five day, five minute chart of AMD. So on this one on the right, I'm going to add an AMD as well because I want to see the option chain for this on active trader. So now that I have AMD up, let me just change this to the five day, five minutes. So it's the exact same as this one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select, deselect, excuse me, chart. After I deselect chart, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Active Trader. So now that I did that, you guys can see the common side for the Active Trader feature. So I have the chart up on the left, and then I can execute the order here on the right through Active Trader. So this is the overall look of just how it looks on the common side. And you can press this arrow here. You guys can see the quantity. You can set a template. I'll go over this in a little bit more. But this is just the overall template of Active Trader. So at JWJ, we specialize in options for the most part. So I really want to show you guys how to add in the option chain on the right side for whichever AMD contract you want on the left. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and head over to Trade because I want to look at the option contract. And this is where we see the option chain. So one thing before I send this over to Active Trader, I want to show you guys how we select our specific contracts and what to look for. So typically with these guys, you, you really want to look for high volume and high open interest ones. In my opinion, those are the most important. And everyone should have this up on their option chain to look at. So with AMD, this stock is very liquid, has a lot of volume, a lot of open interest. So when you're day trading this, you don't really have to look at it as much because all of them are pretty high. So basically what the volume is, is how many people have traded it. And the open interest is how many current open positions are available in that contract. So like how many are actively open. So like I said, AMD is pretty high, so you don't really have to look at it as much. It won't really affect it if you're playing close to the money at least. So just for this purpose, just for the purpose of this video, excuse me, I'm going to select, let's just say the 88 call. So I want to send this one over to Active Trader so that I can see the option chain on the right of that chart we have on the left. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and right click this or double click if you have a Mac. And then this option pulls up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to send this over to two. So this is a specific link that I want to send to that second chart on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and select this link here to yellow. Boom. And then I'm going to go back to charts and then go to this symbol link icon here, open it up and select two. So now what I did is I copied that 88 call that we selected here and I sent it over to active trader. So now you guys can see 
how this works. So here I have the five day, five minute AMD chart on the left. And then here I have the specific option chain for that contract I selected on the right. So very easy to install guys. Um, this is a very cool setup, very easy to use. And this is just the basic layout of how it is. So for my setup personally, I have multiple monitors that I split off and I have, you know, at least four or five. So I split off multiple monitors so I could have my main setup like this. I could have one chart on the left and then whichever contract I want to be trading on the right. So if you want to make this like a little, you know, smaller, it doesn't need to be as big. You can, you know, move it accordingly like this. So for example, let me just, that's a little bit too small. Let me go to the left. Perfect. Okay. So here I have a little bit more room for the chart. And then I have that active trader contract here on the right. So since I select this arrow here, you guys can see, you know, the quantity, the template, and then you can select auto send. So I'll just talk about some of the features here and I'll go into detail on how they work and just how to use it. So basically here we just have a buy, a buy market button, a sell market button, uh, cancel, and then one that I really like also is flatten. So when you enter a position and let's say if you have any working orders or current orders, this just flattens everything. So like it'll sell your current orders at market and it'll cancel all working orders. So like if things go south and you know, the sky's falling, whatever, you just need to get out. You can press flatten and all those current working positions or anything that's open will just zero out. So it's kind of like a safe haven and it's one of my favorite features on this. So then we have our quantity here. You guys can see 10, 30, 50, hundred, and then this auto send button here. So usually when you guys, let's say if I wanted to buy this 177 call, or excuse me, this 88 call at 177, usually there would be another pop-up come up. But since I have auto send highlighted, once I you know press send, whatever the bid and the ask is, whatever I can get it for, I'll get the order right away and there won't be any delay or there won't be any additional pop-up. I'll just get it right away. So you guys can see here, this is the side, the bid side and the ask side, the ask side, excuse me. And you guys can see it up here as well. So there's a certain template that I wanted to go over as well um, that I think could be very useful for new traders and just honestly anyone overall. So it's going to be right here. It says template and then you can select which one you want. So the one I wanted to go over for the purpose of this video is this trigger with bracket one. So basically what this is, it's, it's a, a very good tool to use for risk management. So you can select which one you want to use, you know, if both. So basically what this is here is you could sell it at a certain, you know, target price. So for example, you could, you know, change this here, you know, percentage I have up. So when you enter the position, you can sell it or it'll automatically sell when you're up, you know, whatever you select. So for example, if I select 10% and if I got in here at 177, it would automatically sell it when the contract goes up 10%. Now with this, you should have like price targets and, and stuff. This could be a little uh, skewed. I don't recommend using this one as much. Um, for new traders, I really recommend using this one because this is for risk management, guys. Um, when you're entering the trade, you should have your price targets and you shouldn't be selling like when you're up a certain percentage. You, sh you should be selling based off what the chart is telling you. So for risk management, I would select this one here on the bottom and then you can kind of determine what your risk is up front. So for example, here I have um, a percentage and then let's say for example I wanted to use a let's say a 20% stop so let's say when I when I enter the position here at 177 what it'll do is it'll set a triggered stop so that when I get in at 177 if things go south and you're wrong it'll automatically sell the position as you guys can see on the bottom right there when you're down 20% on the position so, you know, you can do this according, you know, to your account size or whatever you're willing to lose on the position. And I really like this feature a lot because with a lot of new traders, they get emotional and um, you can't really rely on mental stops when you're new. You know, you get too emotional. You don't know what to look for. You always think it can come, you always think it can come back and that just doesn't work. So I highly recommend using this one because it'll take emotion out of it. And if you're wrong, it'll just sell it, you know, whatever percentage you put in. 
So for example, let me just put in 10 here and you guys can see um, at 177, like it'll sell it at 159 because that's a 10% loss from your entry point. So with this setting here, I usually like to go to mark and then here trail stop. So what this is, is okay, let's say if I put in the order here at 177, I get filled for 10. What will happen is once I'm up 10%, this mark trail stop will just follow it. So once I'm up 10%, the trade moves to even. So worst case scenario, you will get out of the position, out of the position even. So I like this feature a lot because let's say, you know, you get in a position and you know, you sell a few and you want to leave a few runners, you can get in at 177. And if you're up in the position, that trail stop will just keep following it all day. So, you know, if you have to leave the office or you know, you don't want to look at it the entire day, you could just let it run and that trail stop will just follow it. So that's a really cool feature that a lot of people don't know about. And it's something that I think a lot of new traders should use because it really helps with your risk management and it helps you control your losses up front. So I think that's a really cool feature and it's something that a lot of you should use. And um, that's that. Now I want to show you how to save it. So let's say if you really like to set up here, you can then go, oh, excuse me. You can then go here and then you could save it. So whatever you have up, you know, if you want to name it trail stop, you can save it up here as well. You can go to the gear icon and decide which ones you want to, you know, have on your current set. So you can, you guys can kind of play around with it and then save it to how you want it. So that's just this part up here that I wanted to go over. And then the thing after that was going to be this on the top right here next to our yellow link so for example okay so we selected the 88 call on amd let's say i wanted to switch to put so if you don't want to go all the way back here and then you know go here and select puts you can literally just go here and change the c from p so what this does is it selects 88 put instead of the call so i literally just changed from a call to a put by selecting p instead of c and you could also do the same thing with the expiration as well. So here, this is April 30th that the expiration is, but let's say I wanted to go back and, you know, for example, just see last Friday's like 88 put. So I would put the cursor here and I would go back to 23. So what this does, um, oh, there was, yeah, here it is. So this is from last Friday's 88 put. So you can change the date and whatever, call or put you want up here like whichever one you want so i think that's really cool because if you're looking at you know if you want to keep looking at amd you can you know switch on a dime if you wanted to so i really like that feature i'm just going to go back and keep the call for the same date and everything just so you know we can stay on track with how we're going here and that was something i wanted to highlight as well because i think it's really cool and efficient because sometimes things change, you know, depending on what the chart's telling you, sometimes you might have to switch the puts, you might have to flatten your position and switch. So if you wanted to do that, you can literally just go up here. You could do the same thing with the strike. You can, you know, change it to 90, change it to a put, you know, change the date, whatever. So you could do all that up here. So that was just something I wanted to go over real quick. Super cool. A lot of people don't know you could do that. And um, one of the last things I wanted to go over as well is the actual option chart. So in order to look at that, we're going to go ahead and deselect this active trader option. So once I deselect that, I want to go over to chart. So now what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the specific option chart for the AMD 88 call. Now it's giving me a second to load, but it's about to pull up. It's going to be a chart of this 88 call. Maybe if I change, okay, here we go. So this is literally the option like charted out. So this is super cool. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this just because it's making, um, it's just a little noisy in the chart right there. So now I have this five day, five minute AMD chart on the left and then on the right, I have that specific 88 call on the right. So um, super cool guys, you guys can chart these as well. So you could see, you know, when AMD was at, um, Let's see the low. The The low was 82.70, for example, at 9.35. You can go over here and see what the 88 call low was here. So 
just a very cool feature here as well. Um, I use these a lot in my trading. They work. Um, I think it's very important to at least, you know, take a peek at the option graph on them. And um, that's just the basic overall way to add in the Active Trader feature and how to use it. And if you want to go back, you just deselect chart and then you just reselect Active Trader and you're right back to here. So if you really like this setup here, for example, you know, like I said before, you can kind of move it around. And like I said, I have multiple monitors that I split charts off on. So I could have just one chart up here because I have so many more of my other monitors. And if you really like the setup, you can just go up here back to the boxes and then you could save grid as, you know, customize it, whatever name you want and save it. So once you save it, every time you log in, you can go back here, you can go to Trader, and the same setup will pull up all over again. So that was just a quick rundown on how to use it and just how efficient it is. And with that being said, guys, that's going to be all for today. I will continue to make more tutorial videos on how to use certain things on Thicker Swim. And I hope you guys find value in this and can use it in your trading. We'll see you guys in the next one.